Hey what's up guys T-Man here and welcome to the based Mac 10 class setup and loadout for Call of Duty Warzone. So I think this is very important when you go to use a weapon so you know how to get the best out of it and what are the strengths and the weaknesses of the weapon when approaching a gunfight knowing that you have the highest chances of winning. The MAC-10 has a ridiculously high fire rate paired with a high damage output which is a common fact with a lot of the Cold War weapons but the MAC-10 with the right build and setup is so easy to use. The MAC-10 just drops people so quickly there's just nothing they can really do guys. Something you want to be doing while using the MAC-10 is going for that upper body and then flicking up towards the head which ensures you get the most damage out of your weapon and is guaranteed to win in a gunfight. When pushing someone with the MAC-10 always always make sure that it's a close to medium distance fight because although the MAC-10 really has that insane fire rate and can beam down enemies at a fair distance you would not really want to beam down enemies at a distance guys like in my last MP5 video SMGs are not really built for long distance fights guys uh, it's more for like medium to close range uh, fights and you might just not win in a comparison to a assault rifle shooting at you for example the FFAR1 which is the new meta in warzone by the way new video for that weapon will be next so stay tuned and sub to the channel for more videos guys but anyways, you would rather want to use a assault rifle or a sniper rifle which would be more effective at that long distance of course. Now this is the MAC-10 Warzone loadout that you need and have to use guys. On the muzzle you've got that agency suppressor which gives you that extra sound suppression and range damage. And that's exactly what we want guys. Next up we have the 5.9 task force barrel which gives you more damage, effective damage range and bullet velocity. Next up we have the GRU 5mW laser sight. It improves all hip fire accuracy guys. And for the stock we have the wire stock which gives you more sprint to fire time. Next we have the STANAG. I don't really know how to pronounce that guys but it's maybe like a Stang uh, 53 round drum. Now that's a lot of extra rounds guys for when you miss your shots. That basically improves your magazine ammo capacity, max starting ammo and ammo capacity. So there you go boys and girls, you now have the best MAC-10 loadout for Warzone. So far, so for those who want kill counts in a plunder match between the stock MAC-10 and the custom loadout MAC-10. The stock MAC-10 had around 13 kills in a plunder match, now guys do keep in mind I did have a really bad day in Warzone for the MAC-10, I really did grind to get those kills but unfortunately I will tell you guys a little bit later in the video why I think I did not get so much kills but I really did grind my ass off for those kills guys but anyways for the custom loadout MAC-10 we had 19 kills in a round of a plunder match so guys those are the kills that both the stock and the custom MAC-10 gave me while just grinding for kills in a planner match. I do have to say that the MAC-10 overall is a really great SMG to play with but lately it just doesn't feel like the same as it used to. After the DMR has been nerfed the MAC-10 feels weaker and uses a lot more ammo to spray down on enemies. But luckily because of its insane fire rate and high damage output it still beats most of the warzone weapons. So something I want to talk to you guys about is I feel as if the MAC-10 has been nerfed guys. Even with the loadout you will get higher kill games I guarantee it to you guys. And it still just shreds through enemies but I didn't really feel that it kills enemies as quickly as it used to. Give me your thoughts on the MAC-10. Do you guys think it was nerfed or not? I would really love to hear what you guys say. So if you have any questions on why I chose this loadout as the best MAC-10 as the best MAC-10 loadout setup class in Call of Duty Warzone, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to smash that like button guys. And it really helps the channel tremendously and subscribe for more Warzone loadout videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.